What's up, Psych2Go viewers? It's Donna, and it's Valentine's Day. Unless you're watching this on a different day, then it's not. Today, we're going to be talking about how our body reacts when we're in love. A great way to know if someone is attracted to you is by looking into their eyes and seeing if their pupils dilate. This is an involuntary action caused by the automatic nervous system. Neurotransmitters are released during love. Adrenaline, dopamine, and serotonin all cause pupil dilation. When we're attracted to someone, we also tend to blush. This is also an involuntary response and caused by the sympathetic nervous system. In women, blushing is associated with youthfulness and fertility. It also encourages reproduction and attraction. That may be the reason why women wear blush. Ever wonder why sometimes a good hug or cuddle makes you feel better? During cuddling, the hormone oxytocin is released, and this promotes bonding and intimacy. AKA, you know that warm fuzzy feeling, unless you don't know because you're cold hearted. And in the event of a loss where our heart gets broken, we actually feel physical pain. Your anterior cingulate cortex becomes activated, which regulates emotion. This leads to the stimulation of vagus nerves, sound in your chest and abdomen. So when your heart is broken, it actually feels like your heart is broken. It hurts. It hurts so much. You know, I always wondered what went through the first human's heads when they decided, hey, we should take our lips and touch them together. <laughs> Not weird at all. Today, the most widely accepted theory is that it allows for us to examine the biological quality of our mates. It allows for our faces to be close enough to examine each other's pheromones. When your body senses threat, it immediately goes into fight or flight mode. It releases the hormones adrenaline and cortisol. And when you're out on a hot date, butterflies or fight or flight mode is activated. Even though you're unlikely to face physical threats, your body senses rejection and embarrassment as threats, therefore going into that mode. So that's the end of the video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want to know more, check out the articles down in the description below. And if you want to see more of me, I do psychology videos too and weekly vlogs. My channel will also be down in the description. And I will see you later. A relationship based on their personality, what they've grown up with. I really don't see the difference between people anymore as far as like, man, this has to be like this, woman has to be like this. I think it's all a great.